Hello, hello again, friends. This is Grace here at the Comfy Nest with Grace. I'm getting ready to stamp and create. I've got some fun animal stamps here. Um, and I have some letters. I think I'm going to create something with these animals. I don't know. I've been mulling around about it for a while and I can't quite make up my mind. So maybe you guys can help me. Welcome, welcome. Come on into the Comfy Nest. Let's get crafty and chatty. That's what we do here every Tuesday night at 9 p.m. Central. So if you are new, I'd love to know that so I can offer you a warm welcome. All you repeat um, loyal folks who keep coming back for more, I thank you for that. I appreciate you guys so much. You can't even know how much I like your company. Tonight, I'm, I really am going to be making my mind up as I go. And you know, I always ask you girls, what do you think I should do? So I will be doing that again tonight. You can help me out with this project. That would be awesome. Um, I'm just creating for fun. That's it. Tonight's just for fun. Hi, Diane. Hello, Mary. She says, Kansas is watching. I'm here in North Dakota. Yeah, tell me where you're from, you guys. Hi, Chelsea. Welcome. Okay, you guys. I just revealed to the Craft Therapy Club girls today. This is our project. Um, it's got the ring light on it. That's funny. That's our project this month. That's the one we're doing. And the doors just closed to the group. But can I show you? This. These are all the new members. Woohoo! These are all the new girls, the new crafty chicks who joined the Craft Therapy Club. Thank you girls for joining us in the paid membership. I'm so excited to have you guys along with us with all the other ladies who have been with me for a while. Um, thank you for sprinkling, Miss Gladys. I so appreciate you. If you don't know what sprinkling means, that's what she did. She hit that button and got this out to other folks to see. So thank you for that. Hey, Paula, welcome for the first time from East Texas. Carolyn's here from Houston. Hello, Carolyn. Hi, Carol. You know what? It's it never it never ceases to amaze me, you guys. It's so I mean, like Vivian from Arkansas. No, hello again, Holly. You're one of my crafty chicks in the in the um, craft therapy club. I am still spunky. I'm excited about this project, and I am super excited. Yeah, look at. I am super excited about this. Like, I've been putting these post-it notes on. Last week, the doors were open to my club, and they only open every four months. So it makes me really sad to close them, actually. But the ramp up to open the doors and then getting all these folks in and settled in and then closing the doors is a lot of work. And I'm a one-woman show. No, I shouldn't say that. I have Marley. She assists me. She lives in Michigan. Um, Marley really helps me with correspondence. She helps to... Mess, um, email people back about questions and their orders and things like that. Um, and she also helps me in the group a little bit with management. So um, all the all the invoicing and all the ramping everybody up and getting everybody in though is up to me. Um, and it's just a lot of work. So it's okay that I only do it every four months because I want to focus on the projects and teaching new techniques and things like that. So I'm so excited to welcome you girls. Um, yes, you guys chat. Candy's in the group. She's saying, what part of a highway? Ohio are you in? Let's see who she's talking to. Thank you, Sherry and Holly. You guys helped me get 40 shares. Help me with that. I think we hit like, I go live once a week for sure, Tuesdays, 9 p.m. Central. That you can count on. I mean, unless I'm sick or something major has happened, that you can count on. Um, and then I try to go live other times, but I just have a lot of other stuff going on. So I, I just can't commit to doing daily. <laughs> once a week and I'll make it really worth your time. <laughs> So, but it always astounds me to have new folks here. I'm just always so thrilled to welcome you guys um, from all over the place. It's super fun. Look, we already have 74 people. Hey, Pam. I'm not stenciling today. I'm going to be, I, I do stencil, but today I'm going to be using stamps. I have a lot of stamps out and paint and I've got some fabric and some tacks and I I'm, I'm just have a lot of things going through my mind here. Hello, Amy. Rosa says, I'm sorry I can't join to you. Oh, she has, the, she has a church meeting via Zoom. How cool is that? Go to your church meeting. That's so important. Hi, Linda. Thank you for sprinkling, guys. Thank you, thank you. Hey, Pauline in Pennsylvania. I went to college in Pennsylvania. I lived there for seven years. I went to college and then I worked at the university for a few years and then I left to go to graduate school. I lived in Erie, Pauline. Where are you from? Hello, Laura in Southern Illinois. All right, you guys. Should I get the camera down so we can keep chatting and start crafting? Should we do that? I just wanted to make sure to give a shout out to all my new craft therapy club. That's my paid membership club. The doors open every few months. Um, so I was happy to welcome some new folks. Okay, look, I think I want to use this guy. He's a little sheep. 
I think that's what you call this guy. I'm, I'm a city girl. I grew up in Boston. I don't know a whole lot about animals, but um, he's super cute. And look, these stamps, they come with a, this side of the stamp is blackened out. So you, it has the print of the animal on there or whatever the stamp is. So you can see what it is because when you just hold the stamp up and it, especially when it hasn't been used, it's really kind of hard to see. But this is the guy that I think I'm going to use. These are all very cool. Um, and when you get these stamps for the first time, these pr both Prima and IOD make these kinds of stamps. Listen, they used to be the same company. Uh, they split a while back, but back when I bought this, you can see IODs on this side, Prima marketing on that side. They both still make stamps, I believe, but they have separated. Um, it was, I guess, a partnership and they separated. Anyway, these stamps that they provide, you guys, um, I did not know this until I used one a couple of times and it was not working for me. And my sister-in-law distributes this stuff. And I said to her, what the heck is wrong with these stamps? And she said, you have to stand them before you use them, which I did not know. So you take the side with the decorative and you got to rough them up. I, I mean, I, I learned this years ago, but at the time I was like, what are you talking about? <laughs> what are you talking about? Yeah, you got to rough this up a little. And then the ink will grab on better to the design. Actually, I'm going to use... This would be better because it's flexible and I can bend it. I want to make sure I get all of these pieces. Oh, my table is rattling. Shake, rattle, roll. <laughs> all right, so that's what I'm doing first. I'm going to be using a lot of these stamps. I've had them for a long time and I love to play with them, but I just, I just don't have the time often to do that. Um, this whole project Hinges, hinges on whether or not I'm going to be able to stamp this on this piece of fabric. That, this is what I would like to do. This is just a piece of scrap wood. I painted it this gorgeous green color called celery green, um, like last week. And listen, if you're anything like me, girls, tell me something. Um, get, show, give me like hearts or hands or something to tell, let me know, are you a crafter? Do you craft on a regular basis or do you want to? <laughs> Maybe that's the better question. And that's kind of what I'm getting at. Who out there likes to craft and create? Me. Give me a show of hands or tell me. Um, then I want to ask you. Thank you for sprinkling, Miss Christine. See, look, we've got all these like-minded ladies here. Look at all those hearts coming across the screen. Men too. I mean, you're welcome. It, generally, it's the it's the women I, that come visit me. Um, <laughs> You fabulous crafty men, you're welcome to hang out here at the Crafty Nest too, or the Comfy Nest too, but I will say most of the time it's the ladies. Now listen, listen, ladies, how many of you craft once a week? Okay, I want you to just answer the question, how often do you craft? Once a week, seven times a week, so like every day, once a month. I'm just curious how often you craft because listen, I give me like a, 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 like a, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, how many times? Tell me how many times. Once a week, once a day, all day long, every day. <laughs> that would be my dream. All day long, every day. Um, how often do you get to craft? Can you answer that question? Because here's the deal. Even this is what I do for a living. I craft and I teach women new techniques to craft. I give them an open, safe, fun, motivating environment in the craft community to share and to learn and to grow and to inspire each other. Candy crafts three to four times a week more if she can. Yay! Hello, Miss Marsha from VA, from Virginia. Um, Laura says, no set schedule, just when I'm inspired. Dawn crafts every day. It feeds my soul. That's how I feel, Dawn. It is like me time, relax time. I love it. Christina, three times a week. I love to hear that, Christina. Christina is another craft therapy club member. Every day, every day. Oh my gosh, girls, keep it coming. Carrie, you, you're every day. Good for you, girl. Um, Phyllis says it differs mostly one to two times a week, as often as possible, four out of seven days. Good, Christine. Twice a week when I can, Carolyn. You guys, that is the bomb.com. I'm so glad to hear that. Here's what happens to me. Especially now that I do this for work, I do spend, especially the end of the month, the beginning of the month, when invoicing and things like that happen. And now since I'm selling craft supplies on my website, I do spend time at my desk and in my office fulfilling orders. And so I can't be in my craft room when I'm doing that. 
so I don't get to do it as often as I'd want to. Vivian, good for you. Gladys says twice a week too. She says once to twice a week. Beverly, every chance that she gets with a big heart emoji. I love it. Joy does it three to four times a week. Kathy says, not as much as I want to, but I used to every day. Kathy, that's where I am right now. And I, it's funny because I think we go through like hills and valleys, right? Where sometimes we can do it a lot and then something might get busy. Like there's like a major event. Like I know some ladies are like, oh, my daughter is getting married. They may be crafting for the wedding, but not other stuff because it's just too busy. So I understand that completely. Brenda says, now that my arms are hands. Oh, I lost you. Oh, Pauline says, I try to stencil scrapbook or do something on my Cricut since the COVID. I've been doing something daily. Oh, see, that's a blessing. That's a blessing. Can't get motivated, Tracy. That's why I'm here. That's why we're here to inspire and motivate each other. Good for you. Amy says she has a new goal for the new year once a week because she doesn't get to do it as often as she wants. Amy Kruger, I love that. I love that. Well, here's what happens. Um, I pulled these stamps out like a week ago. Because I was like, I have all these stamps and I really never use them. These I've never used. I've had them for a long time too. Um, has that ever happened? You buy something and it just sits and sits. So I pulled it out. I thought maybe I could use... I pulled these out like a week and a half ago. They've been sitting. Like I've been moving them around so I can... I get Because my room is small so that I can work. But I want these out because it's reminding me I want to use these. <laughs> then I thought I want to use this gorgeous celery green and... Three days, four days later, I painted this board. I put one coat on it, put it aside to dry, went and did other stuff, came back. Oh, looks like it needs another coat. So I put another coat on it. So I spend like, I do it in little increments, like 15 minutes at a time. I come in here and I might put a coat on something and lay it aside. And then I'll come in here and I have this board here. And now I've just pulled these out and I'll have 15 minutes and I'll just kind of go, mm, what do I want to do with this thing? What colors do I want to use? What, how do I want to... I think I want to use fabric in this just to make it dimensional. So I pull out a piece of fabric and I start measuring and that may be all I get to. And then I leave and then I may come back six hours later and work on it again. I don't know about you, but that's how it goes for me. I don't get a lot of time to just sit and craft. So this project isn't even completely thought out, but what I would like to do, it all hinges on whether or not I'm going to be able to stamp this guy on this piece of fabric and then if I can I want to put him on here um, and then I want to have enough room to put something some words like not Merry Christmas I don't know what words that's where you can help me what words could I put I was thinking Christmas greetings farmhouse Christmas something like that what we'll, we'll we'll work on that later if you have suggestions you can let me know I gotta grab these comments here um, Sudi says, sorry I wasn't able to sign up this time. I will next time. I enjoyed, I'm through my trip to Tioga, North Dakota, back in Oklahoma now. I'm making quilts. Oh, good for you for great grandbabies. That's sweet, Sudi. Hi, Lindsay. Hi, Julie. And Jennifer's here. Hello, hello, girls. Hi, Linda. Pam does it two to three times a week. I love seeing these answers, you guys. Debbie does once a week, sometimes more. Yay, Crystal, every other, every day. Good for you. That's fabulous. I love it. Okay, I want to make this just big enough to handle this animal. So here's, I, I like these raggedy little edges and I'll hold them up so you can see them better. So what I like to do is just when I'm working with fabric, I usually just put a little snip with a scissor to start it and then I tear because I like when it's raggedy. Like I like when it's all frilled and frail. Like I like that. Okay, I hope I can get this guy to stamp on here, but I don't, I've never done it before, so I don't know. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try it with my stamps, okay? I have stays on stamps. These are permanent ink, so they shouldn't smudge or smear or anything like that. I'm gonna try it with that, and if that doesn't work, I'm gonna move to paint, okay? Um, Carolyn, you're the same as me. I would do it every day, but life happens. Carolyn, you are my soul sister, girl, because that's how I feel. Listen, if this fails, this one is a little bit smaller, but I might. I have this sheet, and then I have a little bit more fabric here. So if this fails with the stamps, I'm going to have to move on to something else. Now, my thought is I really don't prefer, you guys, if you've been watching me for a while, you know this, I do not prefer um, plain backgrounds. I really like something, 
Like I just don't want plain green. I, I'm gonna either distress it or I'm gonna Mod Podge something on it or I'm gonna stamp it or something. Um, so that's gonna be done probably in this color. Here's what I'm thinking, distress or something in this color. That this will sit on top of that and then I will use in black. I'm gonna put the, the sheep in black and then I'm gonna use my jet black ink pad to do the letters, whatever the letters are. Um, that's my thought. But first, let's see if we can even get the dang sheep on this fabric, because if that doesn't work, I don't know what the heck I'm gonna do tonight. Oh, man alive, Facebook. Okay, I had something messed up here on my iPad, so I can't see your comments anymore. Let me get them back. And you guys, I should add names to the, um, how many people do you see on your, what number do you have on your screen for how many people are live? Because I add names to the prize basket based on how many people are here. So I'm going to add some names to the prize basket. Let me grab a pen. Let's see if this works. This is kind of an old gel pen. Let's see if I can get it to work. I'm going to add, I'm going to randomly go through the comments. And now there are lots of comments, right? Because a lot of you have been talking to me and answering questions. So I'm going to randomly go through. Gosh dang it. Where did all the comments go? Tammy says she sees 97. You guys keep sharing because if we get up to 100, I'll add another name <laughs> to that prize basket. Listen, seriously and literally all the comments disappeared. I can get them up here though. I can get them up here again. I can. But down here, what the heck happened to you? I'm going to go out of Facebook and back in. That's what I tell you guys all. If you ever have like audio issues or something's cutting out or you're having trouble, just go out of Facebook and back in. It just means it's Facebook is being a brat and um, you need to give it a timeout. <laughs> so go out and come back in. That's usually my solution and it usually, or my like fix, it usually works. Now, let's see. Come on, girls. Help me out. Oh, we hit 100. Somebody said we hit 100. Yay, Brenda, Karen, look at them all. Donna, we hit 100. All right, listen. Listen, Linda, I gotta find these comments. My word, my word. Joy Robinson Ferg. Wait, wait, wait. Joy Robinson Ferguson. Joy, that's a mouthful, my love. But easy enough. Joy Robinson Ferguson, your name is going in the prize basket. If you guys remind me, I can pull a couple of prizes tonight and send some people some grab bags, some crafty grab bags. I sell mystery craft bags from my website. They are incredibly fun. And for the prize winners, I send like mini ones. So Barb Moeller from Hayward, Wisconsin. She says, hi, Grace. Hi, Barb. Your name's going in the prize basket. I hope I said your name correctly. You'll see how it's spelled here. Barb Moeller. Okay, I have to do four. That was two. <gasps> I ran out of paper. Listen, here's my schedule for the craft therapy club. But it's all like, it's got all these extra slices of paper I can use. We're, we get crafty girls. We're going to find a way to get your names in this basket. I need two more names. Make sure if you have just come on and you haven't commented yet, say something. Say something, girl. Tell me where you're from. Tell me how many times a week you craft. Um, anything. Oh, and I will, I'm going to add names to the prize basket from the comments. So let me grab two more names here. Wishing you a Merry Christmas. And she spelled it E-W-E. Jarita, that was really cute. Jarita, that was really cute. Your name's going on the prize basket, friend. Jarita. It's Norwood Pixley. Norwood Pixley. That was a cute comment, friend. And I'm going to scroll back now. So, because Jarita was like one of the most recent comments. So let me scroll back and see and see who else is here. Linda Craft. Linda Craft sprinkled. So, your name is going in. Now, listen, if you win, I'll go in the Crafty Chicks Club, my free group, and I will tag you if you're in there and announce the winners. That was four. So, if we get up to 125, let me know and we'll add some more. Okay. Let's see. About, about, about stamping this guy on here. I'm going to move this just so I don't get any ink on it for now. I'm going to stamp the heck out of this, get the ink on there, and we're going to try to get it on here. You guys, I'm working. This is about the amount of space I have to work in because I've got stuff all over the place. Just so much stuff. It's not even funny. Listen, if the ink pad doesn't work, I'm going to move to, to um, I am going to move to using paint. 
okay? That's the way I'm gonna roll. Does anybody have these stays on stamps? Jeez Louise, you guys, they smell like um, almonds. They smell like those cookies that you, that, you know, my family used to have at Christmas time. Um, oh my gosh, do they smell good. I wanna get it good and dark, guys. And the thing is, you don't want it to dry before you stamp, right? So get her done. All right, let's flip it over and see. Oh my gosh, I hope this works. I really, really want this to work. They do have um, stamp pads. I'm too lazy usually to get them. I do have one. I'm too lazy to get them out. Where I just had one. Um, IOD and um, Prima Design has really, I have a really big one with a handle and I almost never use it. It wasn't even a good investment. But you know, these like clear stamp pads, they really help you to like push down evenly. Oh, good gravy. I hope, oh, but now my stamp is stuck on there. This one's not quite big enough. It's almost big enough. I, I'm tempted like I do with my stencils to just hinge this and see if it's even working. <gasps> you guys, it worked. It worked. Look, look at all that detail. I'm showing you his bum. <laughs> to do that like I wasn't really trying to show you a bum shot I just was trying to show you like ooh, look at the detail right and I love that it's um it's not perfect I didn't mean to give you a bum shot I hope nobody was offended by that it's not like perfect but I don't really necessarily need it to be perfect I kind of want it to be scratchy edgy like I got a little extra ink right here that's all good right look at cuteness okay now now that I know this work, our next goal is to thank you. Perfect. I see Cheryl says perfect. Now that that's done, we'll just put this here for a second. I, I just, this is going to sit on here and I don't like plain. I want something on here. Um, so I was thinking about using my distress pad, my distress stamp from the same place. Um, this one to distress a little, but you know what, you guys? Now that I'm seeing this on here, let me show you some other options. You guys can tell me what you think. Maybe I should do something pretty. Like maybe instead of just the distressing, um, I think he's dry, but let's move him over just in case. I, I have these scrollies. It would have to be something smaller scale because this it's gonna mostly get covered by that piece of fabric. These, what about something like one of these florals behind there? I don't know, you tell me, what do you think? This is why I love crafting with you guys because you always give me your opinion and that's why I asked for it. But like, what if I stuck? The problem is you're not gonna see a whole lot of it. I better stick to the distress. As much as I love that, plus I with the distressing then I will be able to put letters on there and they'll be seen. But listen, you guys, there's a world of stamps out there that you cannot even believe. Anybody out there an IOD or a Prima stamp fan? Um, I love their stuff and I, I have some of it. I don't have all of it. I just don't use it often enough. That's the problem. They're a little bit big to work with. It's so pretty. Karen, Kathy says it's, this rose stamp is nice. And Karen says she likes it plain. Yes, Sudi, I agree. You know, if I wasn't going to try to put some letters on there, that would be really pretty. But since I'm going to put some letters, let's use this. And I'm just going to add a little. Now, you don't have to have stamps to add distressing, you guys. You can distress with lots of other things. Um, and the other thing I was going to tell you, too, is here's another option. Like, you can buy little stamps. These are Prima, too. These are all Prima, and they're like little pattern stamps that you could use like in the background. The brick actually would be really cute. Hey, wait a minute, look at these ones too. These are all Prima. These are all stamps. Do you have a favorite that you see? Listen, you guys, I'm kind of, now that I'm seeing the brick, I kind of like that. Who votes for brick? <laughs> Who votes for polka dots? 
Just leave it plain, Darlene says. I can't do it, Darlene. I'm sorry, my love. I apologize to you now, my dear. I can't do it. I can't do it. I don't like it plain. I don't. I really dislike plain backgrounds. <laughs> it's just me. And I always say there's no right or wrong answer. I'm not saying that plain backgrounds are wrong. I'm just saying that it's not my preference. So I want to put something on there. I'm just trying to decide what. Hey, Christine Villanueva. Whoop, whoop. She sent me some stars. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I know. I like the ragged edges, too. I'm trying to go back and see some more of these comments. Tracy says, where did you get the stamps from? Uh, which one? These I got online. Um, the Prima ones and the IOD I got from distributors. One of them in Minot, North Dakota, and the other one is my sister. She has a, a store in Massachusetts called Blended Vintage Marketplace, and she's a distributor. Um, let's see. I'm trying to look at comments. Tracy, what are you wondering if I saw? I was wondering if my comments show. I saw that comment. <laughs> Um, that's not Grace. Yeah, that's not me at all. I have to have something back there. Sorry, girls. I like the brick, too. Barb just said the brick. Debbie says she likes the brick. I like the brick, too, you guys. I like that. And Christina said the distressed or the brick. Ooh, let's play with the brick. Look how stinking little it is. It's just tiny. So this, this is where those little um, handles come in really nice. Or actually, it, they come on two little pieces of plastic, right? And you tear them off so that you can design. Now, listen, you can leave this piece of plastic on there. It does make it easier to handle. However, I will say to you, you will get a lot of ink on your fingers. So that's where these little blocks come in handy. These little, and these come in different sizes too. But if you take this off of here completely, and they are a bugger to get off. I'm not kidding you. You should have saw me trying to get the animals off. Like they really are. You look like you're going to stretch them but they don't stretch. They just take a lot of elbow grease to get them off. Let me put that aside. So now again, I can put this on here so it just makes it easier for me to handle, right? Then my fingers won't get all dirty, um, but I do need to scratch that up a little bit. Don't forget to give it a little scratchy scratchy. Okay, Lindsay says both, brick, both. I was thinking about that too, that maybe I could use both. Let's get a little brick on here and see, because I can't even help myself. I'm loving it. So now my, my ink pads, I only have these colors. I have dove gray, I have cotton white, and I have black. And I don't want to do black because it's going to be too stark. I'm going to try, I don't know what this is. I'm, it fell out of my, my pad. Create side swatch labels for stacked pads. Oh, good gravy, who has time for that? <laughs> this mama. I don't even know if this is wet anymore. That's how long I've had it. I'm going to try gray and see what it looks like. It's not even wet, is it? I'm going to have to re-wet this guy. I don't even think I'm getting anything. I think it's bone dry, girls. Let's just see. I'm going to use one of your name. No, it's not bone dry. That'll work. Heck yeah. And it's like, I. so I want a color that's in the same tone I don't want to go with jet black because the letters are going to be jet black. I want it to be either this same tone of color or lighter. I don't want it to be darker. So I think that this gray will work. So I just, I'm feeling like this isn't very wet. Am I going to get through the whole thing? We can only see. We can only try and see. It really doesn't even look like there's anything on there. We just got to test it. We got ink. But why doesn't it look like it's on the pad? I'm starting to sweat a little about that. Let's see. I'm just going to come across. Yeah, yeah, babe. Look at that. Baby, look at So where's my little sheepy guy? Perfect. And then I'm going to, I'm going to stencil over that. I'm going to, I'm going to stamp over that too with some letters. So I just don't like plain. I want something back there. So I'm going to come around and brick this baby up. This is gonna be perfect. I don't, look, you can see, I don't worry about like, did they line up right? Did they overlap? I don't care about any of that. It's just not me. Actually though, I do care about, I'm gonna have them all going the same direction. So even though I, I turned my wood, I'm gonna keep the stamp going the same direction. Oh, my son's coming in to say goodnight. I just heard him say, gotta go say goodnight. Hi, Bookie. Yeah. 
come in and say goodnight to your mom. I love you, kid. The camera's down on the project, so no worries. Good night, babe. I'll check on you later. Love you. God bless you. Okay. All right, look at this, girl. So I don't have to do the middle because, of course, the sheep is going to be in the middle. But that's working out pretty good, and it's a nice, soft tone, right? These stamps are so handy. I'm telling you. I like that they have little ones, they have big ones. Um, and when you have patterns like this, you can just line them up best you can. You don't have to get too worried about preciseness. Listen, I'm not about that. I just, if you're into perfection, you're not into me. <laughs> you can't possibly be into me because, girls, I ain't perfect. Listen, this is going to get overlap for sure because there's just one tiny little spot left here. Um, and the stamp is bigger than it. But actually, I liked it because it was a little darker. All right, that's what I got. It looks a little funky, but look at how cute that is. It's really subtle. So you see what I was saying about the color the color selection? I wanted, these are the kinds of things that I like to try to, techniques that I like to try to pass on. So if I gone with the black, and then I try to put black letters over this, the black letters are just not going to show that well. Um, so I wanted something and I want it to show, but be about the same tone as my background color or lighter, okay? On a lot of these, I'm going to put this dove gray away. I don't need that one anymore. Um, my black I'll need again, but that one I'm all done with. <clears throat> on the distress pad, on the back, they show a white background with a green distressing on it. Um, I just wanted to point out the color difference, okay? That was that was the only thing, the color difference. Okay, let's do it now. Thank you. I'm glad you said that. Thank you. I just said, great choice. Thank you. I saw somebody else gave me like a, what's this, like the little okay sign. Oh, I'm so glad you guys like it. Okay, now, so this guy's going to go on here like this. I like that much better than when it was plain. And I was thinking, I'm not even going to glue it on. I have these fun little tacks that I bought. I got these tacks from, listen, you can use any tacks, I think. Ow, my finger got stuck. Um, but I got these from Craft Deals in Wake Park, Minnesota when I was there. Oh, they're, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> they're really longer than I thought. Look at how long that dang nail is. Girlfriend, I would have to really punch this sucker in. Listen, my board is thick enough to handle it. So you got to test and make sure, like when you have something that long, look at how long the... Nail head. I didn't realize. I thought it was more like a thumbtack. Good gravy. I might actually have to use a hammer. Do you guys want to see me try this? Oh, this should be entertaining. I am not a tool girl. Good gravy. How do you do this without, like, messing up the top? The pretty top. I wanted these tacks on here. I might have to do decorative brads and just call it. Go oh, no. It's going, girls. Ooh, I'm going to feel real fancy here. Hold on. I better do this just maybe so it's not so noisy and I better do it soon because my kids are going to bed. That's more noisy. My husband's going to come in here. Listen, for the sake of time, because I got to do four of these, I might not do them all the way to the end. Oh my lordy lord, I don't usually use tools. I'm not going to leave it like that for reals. I'm just going to leave it like that right now because mama ain't got time to be, I'm like literally, in fact, I'm going to take my sweater off. I'll be sweating up a storm here when I got to use the hand tools. All right, who's who's a hand tool lover? Like who, tell me. I know, Jennifer, I'm feeling really like seriously adequate using a hammer. I don't do this very often. <laughs> um, it's so cute. Kathy says, I love how that looks. It's going to be cute with the little nails on there. I bought these nails. Like seriously, you could just use tacks. You can buy thumbtacks that have like this rounded head that's silver, but I bought these because they weren't rounded and silver. They're like bronzy and they're distressed and I love all things distressed. I don't know fractions, so this saying three eighths means nothing to me. Like, I don't even know what that means. I'm sorry, listen. I was sitting at my desk today and I like, my kids were watching TV and I'm like, ah, I need help. I need to figure this 
this fraction out and I can't figure it out. The only time in my life I ever stayed for summer school was fourth grade for fractions. So that means nothing to me. I should have looked closer. These have a really big head on them. So when you're, <laughs> if you're going, just the only tip I have for you um, is just like hold it on there and make sure it's going to be able to handle it. Okay. Um, just so you don't like have a, a nail that goes through. Denise says, I have every tool available to use. Denise, you're my hero. We have a lot of tools. Um, my husband's degree in college was construction management. Um, yeah, but I don't know what that means. Candy says, that's how long the tack is, but I don't know what three-eighths means. I don't know what that means. Three-eighths of an inch. Like, seriously, I'm not kidding you guys. You're going to think I am so dopey. But then I have to come and count the lines because I can never remember which lines are for one eighth, sixteenths, I don't know. It, I just don't. It's not pretty and I don't care about it. <laughs> That's the artsy part of me. This is gonna be stinking cute though. Whether the nails are the right fit or not, it's gonna be stinking cute. I'm not going all the way to the end. Um, I kind of want to see the fabric around the nail head. Oh, oh I missed. <laughs> My hand is really close. You guys, I never do this stuff. My husband's going to come in here and go, what the heck are you doing? I probably could have drilled a hole first. Tell me, handy girls, would you have drilled a hole first? Because seriously, this is a lot of work. <laughs> Carolyn, you're using technical terms. She says the shank is three-eighths of an inch. Yes, Jarita just said, sometimes I pre-drill a little hole. Listen, I did buy myself a drill years ago, and my, and my husband took it the other day. He's like, I need your drill. So I don't even have it in here. And I think he knows I don't use it quite that often. Uh oh, now I got a little bend. I better focus. Ooh, I'm so nervous. Mm. <gasps> Ooh, that was not straight. Oh, Lordy Lord, this is funny. If I hit my finger, you're going to hear a scream. Amazon has a measuring tape that has all the lines on the ruler labeled. It's great, Kathy. That's that's the kind of ruler I need. <laughs> Donna says, I love all tools. Was forced to do a lot for myself. I would always ask my son. He gave me his first set of, my first set of tools. Now I have an electric drill, an electric screwdriver, a sawzall, and a small wood cutter. My bigger pieces I usually get cut at Lowe's, Home Depot, and my friends. Oh, that's so nice. Claudia says, consider never using <laughs> tools again. I'm sorry, Claudia. Put a towel over the tack then, Hammer. What does that do? Does it like, then it won't bend? This one's bending, girls. Listen, I'm going to just get this in. There's going to be like four more hits, okay? One, two, three. Oh, that one was really crooked. All right, listen, I don't even care. I'll fix that later, but you get the point. So cute. Look at this one's really crooked, this guy. Oh, he's wonky just like me. I'm sorry, I did not think about the noise or how much I would sweat doing that, um, but I am literally sweating right now. Um, you should really put a craft retreat together. You would make so much fun. You always make me laugh. Listen, Jennifer, that is my dream, is to do a craft retreat, like a two, three day craft, like, would love to do that someday someday it will happen it is my dream it's on my bucket list so Jennifer you have to come <laughs> it keeps from scratching the tack head Sudi that's smart I think that what um Denise and somebody else said that it would be smart to just drill a hole first but listen I did not I did not think that through well I still think that this is cute <laughs> we gotta do some letters now and I and I was oh I was thinking I want to do something decorative here too but let's figure out what we're gonna put on here, like for letters. So I have my little black pad ready and I'm thinking Christmas greetings. I don't know. Let's grab this because I'm not sure. Those tacks were like, whew. I'm glad there's only 24 in there. That's just a few projects because I remember going to scrapbooking retreat when nail brads were a thing and we had those hole punchers. And I do, that was a long time ago. We were making cards and scrapbook um, scrapbooks and yeah that was a long time ago that this this little hammer is from that set actually anyway 
All right, these are the letters I'm thinking. And I think, like, like if I, ooh, that one's a little long. Maybe I'd have to use the little ones. Um, this comes with, two, this set comes with two different sizes. So good gravy. I better scratchy scratch up some of these letters before I use them, right? Let me just run this down over these before we use them. But I think I'm going to have to use these. And I think Christmas greetings will fit. So let me just give these a good scratch. This I can handle. This tool, <laughs> the sanding pad I can do. I was hoping to use the bigger letters, but I think they're just too big. I think they're, yeah, they're just about a quarter inch too big. However, um, I'm gonna pull these other ones off and this is what I do, I don't know. Oh, I have no nails, girls. And these things are a bug. If I do it all in small, what do you think about this? So here's my option, I have these, which look like this. So you can vote, number one, that's this one. Or I have these, which lo they look basically the, um, no, they're a little smaller, these, which is number two. So these ones are a little bit bigger. They're like twice the size, I think number one. One or two, I'm thinking number one, I'm gonna line these up and make sure that I can fit all of these letters. Because why would I pick something so long, like Christmas? Christmas greetings is a long thing to say. What else could I put on here? Candy says use number one. <clears throat> I would love the name of the stamps. I love the letter set, would love the name of them. Okay, they're called Alpha 3. Um, from IOD. Oh, they were IOD and Prima. This is when the company was all one, but they're called Alpha 3. So you could type in Google like IOD Alpha 3 stamps and then something should come up. My sister-in-law, like I said, in Massachusetts does sell them. Um, Andrea over at Blended Vintage Marketplace in Westfield, Massachusetts. You could go visit with her. Wow, the R is really funky, you guys. The R is like split in the middle. You'll see it's really funky. I don't know. Let's see if we're going to fit this on here. Christmas. I might have to go all the way to the end. Christ. Chris. Chris. Mas. Okay. I'm glad I make you guys laugh. Um, you know when you come and hang out with me that just about anything could happen while we're here. Um, I've had fire alarms go off. I've had shelves behind me fall to the ground. All kinds of walking. Oh, I'm going to need Chris. Wait, where's the A? Hello. All right. Okay. So I'm glad um, if you're here and you come back again, it means you can tolerate my, my wonkiness. This is just going to fit. The R is so weird, you guys. I can't wait to show it to you. If I do this, crisp, like that's laid out the way it needs to be, and then the S is going to have to be there. It like literally is going to just fit. Greetings, I'll have, of course, it's not quite as long as a word, so I should have enough room for greetings. But I want to lay it out before I use them to make sure that I'm gonna have enough room, right? For all of this, I'm stealing the R to see if that's gonna fit. Where's the E? Whoops, G, R, E, and then another E, and then the T. <laughs> I have to steal it from up there. Um, here's the I, which is, which is, no, that's a J. The I's right here, Christmas greet, ooh! It's going to be tighter than I thought. E-E-T-I. Well, I guess I didn't count the letters. That was really dopey. Oh, I never said I was the sharpest tack in the shed. Is that the phrase that people use? This will work. It'll work, but it's going to be like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three. I should have counted this first. Four. Five, six, seven, eight. It's nine on both sides. It's going to work. It's going to work. Oh, good gravy. That was work. U tidings. E W U. That's clever. Brenda, welcome. Use the large C and the smaller letters. It won't fit, though, my dear. It's too long. It's too big. I'd have to put it like it would, it's going to run into my fabric if I do that. 
I think I like it better with the little. I thank you for the suggestion, my dear. Like I said, no, no suggestions are ever wrong. I just think it's about like preferences. Hello, hello, Dooney. Thank you for doing that. I'm trying to get to 40 shares. So you guys, thank you for helping all of you who are helping. Um, not Cindy. Candy has a great idea. Candy, Candy, where is it? Ooh, everybody's saying one, 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 one. Use the one, number one. Put Christmas greetings to you. Oh my gosh, that's cute. It won't fit though, girls. I can only fit Christmas greetings and I literally am just gonna fit it. You see how the nine letters bring me edge to edge on the on this board. Good gravy. Okay, so now one thing you can do if you want, you don't need to, but if you want to, it um, it's a lot faster if you do several letters at once. So you can just kind of line them up where you think they're gonna be, right? And then I have I do have these. I have one big enough to do all of this whole thing actually, but I'm, I'm not gonna pull it out because it, it's just too cumbersome, but I can get C-H-R-I-S-T on here. I'm not trying to make them perfectly straight. I'm okay if they're wonky. So you lay them out on your project, you put the little clear thing on there and it picks them all up and then you, they're all ready to go. So now all I have to do is put the, is this black? I think I mixed them up, no, I think this one's black. Um, all you have to do now, what the heck? is is this black or gray oh come on baby doll i did i did i put the wrong cover i do this all the time you guys i put the wrong cover on the wrong ink that's the gray one here's my black one i was like that is it just does not look like anything's happening there we go all right so this just makes it easier so you don't you can do each individual letter you can girls you can do that but I should have, the name of my business should be The Lazy Crafter because that's me. It's going to take me edge to edge, so I want to get all the way to the edge. And now it's easy. I can just push them all down. I'm going to rock them a little bit, make sure I get edge to edge. Hoo -hoo -hoo! Look at the R, you guys. This wasn't, like, it literally has, like, a missing spot in the middle of it. That's how the stamp looks. But do you see what I was saying about the color on the background, how it needed to be really soft? And subtle but I do like something on my background and then the letters being black on top are gonna kind of match the letters that are on my fabric or kind of match the black on the on the little sheep um, but it is a good way to like think through your um, color scheme you know you want to think through your color scheme before you get started now I'm done with all of these on here but I'm gonna need them again some of them so I'm gonna take them and put them down here and I'm gonna lay my S down. I gotta be careful because now it does have ink on it. But I'm gonna lay it in place like kind of where I want it. And I'm not going for straight. I really am not. I'm okay if my S is leaned a little to the right or my M's leaned a little to the left. That doesn't matter to me. Um, I'm just more interested. Ooh, I started to do the S and I didn't even mean to do that. I pushed down on it. I don't know why I did that. It's okay. I don't get worked up over stuff like that. I'm just, it's just not me. I'm going to try to line it up. That's where it would go. But I'm not going to get too worried about it. Oh, I love this font, you guys. I just picked this up and all my letters went flying. Oh, my letters, my greetings went flying. I picked it up because I was so excited to show you. All right. Let me see. We're going to put these down. Now we got a greetings back again. I need the R. I'm going to need the E. I'm just going to place these lightly, not really strongly, because I don't want to have ghosting, you know? But I do need to know where everything is going to go and if it's going to fit. I lost my G. G money, lost your G. Um, my friends in college used to call me some of them G money. Here it is. It fell over here. So G money, you lost your G. Greetings. This is gonna be stinking cute now listen here's the dealio i need the e twice and up here i was able to get nine minus three is six six letters and then the mas i need the e twice and it's right at the sixth seventh letter so i'm going to do the back end first this is just the way my mind works so i can get these that was upside down i'm going to get these letters done first because I need the E twice here. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, G R E T I N G S. That's right. I have to make sure I'm spelling it right. I'm going to do the back end first and then come back and do the front end. So get them all the way you want them. Come in with your little acrylic block, I think they call them. I'm going to grab these with the acrylic block. You don't have to do a whole lot, you just tap them really, and they stick on there. And actually, I could have gone a little closer with those two, but I'm not going to worry about it. What I do want to do, there's a big string right here, and I'm really tight, really tight for space right here. So I just wanted to get that string out of there so it doesn't mess with my letters. Um, these are a little further apart than I like, but I think it's still going to work. <clears throat> oh my gosh. I'm having more fun, you guys. I love it and want to try it soon. Oh, Connie, hey, that's the inspiration I'm hoping to give you guys. Oh, Kathy, I drink many, many, many cups of coffee, my dear. Who are my coffee lovers? Show me some hearts. I drink tea, too. I do like tea more in the winter than I do in the warmer months. And I love wine. Like, wine is all year long. <laughs> that's my thing. Oh, uh, I love myself some wine. All right, but I haven't had any wine tonight. Maybe that's why I'm so hyper. I don't know wine to calm me down. Okay, got that. Now my E, I'm just gonna offload it. I'm a little nervous about the ink, like more of it coming on. See how much is still on there? I am a little nervous of like shadowing. I'm just gonna place that down softly because I need it there. I need the R and the G, and we're gonna do this little section. And then I don't need any of these letters. This is so fun. To me, this is totally playing. and. You can do this with kiddos too. Like this is, <clears throat> I'm an adult. I'm playing with my supplies and playing with my crafts, having a blast doing it. Um, but the kids in your life, if they are crafty, if they like crafts, um, this would be a really fun thing to let them do. To, and you don't have to have these same exact stamps, but like the process of having a regular like scrap wood block painting it and then distressing it. You don't have to have real stamps, but if you do, use your stamps and you can distress it a little. Then to do something on fabric, it doesn't have to be an animal, it could be anything, any stamp that you have. They could paint something on the fabric and then you could even staple it down. You don't have to have these fancy tacks. And then some little phrase around it. Oh my goodness, what do you think? I really love soft color like i know green and red traditional green and red for christmas i know but i really like soft colors i really do just because i have to be a little wonky and different um okay now i was thinking i was thinking i was thinking of dressing up my sheep a little bit and that i have this stuff i got it at the dollar tree actually but the little beads are really far apart so I was monkeying with this earlier and I thought if I fold it in half right, I can double the number of beads, right? Like, so every other bead, if I fold this right in half, I'm going to have doubled the number. So now they're twice as close as they were a minute ago. <laughs> I'm not good with fractions. So I was thinking this would be really cute, like as though it was hanging around his neck. And then, and then, I'm just playing, guys. Oh, I'm so glad you guys think it's cute. Yay! And then, and then, I don't know, maybe, like, a little bow? All right, tell me what you think of this idea with the thing and the bow and the, I don't know. Oh, Heidi says I would totally purchase it. Oh, that makes me feel good. I am wonky. <laughs> Janine, I'm totally wonky. The sheep is darling. All the animals in this little set are darling. They really are. Okay, listen. Uh-oh, I just ripped some beads. What do you think of the beads around his neck with the little bow? I got my glue gun is going. Just the bow. Tammy says just the bow. I don't know. I kind of, or the other option. Hold on tight, girls. I have another option. Let me kick my sweater aside. I have these things. Um... I have little bits of this. So you can get, the, I got these, this at Hobby Lobby a long time ago. It was in the wedding section actually, and it's a garland. Um, it's a long garland, kind of like this thing. Um, so I cut it in strips whenever I need just a little bit of greenery. So I could snip a little piece of this 
Let me get my wire cutter. Another tool, girls. She's thrusting out the tools tonight. Let's get a little wire cutter. I'm gonna snip this bad boy off. Ooch. And then what if we did this with the bow? Oh, we could do both. We could, like I'm just talking through this, girls. Greenery, beads, bow, give me your vote. Um, how do you clean the stamp? Actually, oh, Debbie, my love. I was I was thinking I was feeling very grown up and um, mature because I was just thinking I'm not even gonna clean those stinking things. <laughs> um, how do I clean my stamps? I have purchased, I have had in my lifetime, there is a spray you can buy that is a stamp cleaner and you spray it and then you wash it off. Um, but as of late, I have become lazy, the lazy crafter. And I just think, do I really have to clean that? You could take this to a sink. This is what I would normally do. Take it to a sink, put a little bit of um, like that totally awesome cleaner or even Dawn liquid soap. And I use, I have like a, it's not hugely stiff, but like I don't have one around here to show you like a stiff bristled cleaning brush. And I would just scrub because these can, they can handle it. They totally can handle a little scrub from a stiff bristled brush, but I don't know. Um, it has gone against every grain of my being my whole life to not clean these things. And finally, I'm like, eh, I don't feel like cleaning them. Someone just said use a baby wipe. I have baby wipes right here. The ink that I used is a permanent ink. I like the permanent ink because it won't smudge. So if I do any painting over it, if I put a top coat over it, it's not gonna go anywhere. It's gonna permanently stay where you put it. I have a feeling it won't come off that easily if I leave it, but it is, it's coming off. There you go, somebody uses baby wipes. I, I, have, I haven't stamped a whole lot recently. This is totally coming off, you guys. <laughs> it's totally coming off here. Maybe it's because it's like a rubbery silicone. But look at I just cleaned right there totally. Yeah. Baby wipes. Whoever just said that. Who said baby wipes? You smart chickadee. I came my stamps with a rag and window cleaner with ammonia. Debbie's given a suggestion. Um <laughs> Geraldine says maybe just the bow. Oh wait, I like the greenery with it too. Geraldine, you're just like me. Like I'm easy to please. You guys, the baby wipe is totally taking it off. Listen, I usually, I'm going to be totally honest with you. Um, I usually don't use baby wipes on my craft supplies because they do have, they always have just a bit of skin conditioner in them. And I don't want that on my, generally on my stamping tools and stamping stuff, but it's working. And I suppose if this dries, um, and the girls are saying they use them, so... Hey, there you go. You can buy a stamp cleaner though. It's a spray bottle or they do sell um, pads that are stamp cleaner pads. So you usually buy the spray cleaner and the pad. I used to have one um, together and you spray the pad when you're ready to clean and then you rub your stamp all over the pad. That's another way to do it. But look at it. This it's look at that ink is totally coming off. Look, I'm going to get it. I'm going to give you another bum shot, girls. There's a bum shot. I'm going to clean this dirty bum. <laughs> right in front of you. I'm going to use a baby wipe and clean that little baby's bum. It's clean. Look at it. It's coming right off, you guys. All right. So make me clean my stamps. You're keeping me honest, girls. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. Clean. Pretty much. I've missed like a hoof right there. Anyway, baby wipes work. So there you go. I love, okay, I love this. I love experimenting. I love helping each other learn that stuff. I love it. I love it all. So thank you, whoever said that. I, I didn't catch the name. I forget. Um, Linda says she's used makeup remover on hers. Yeah, so um, Tammy just said, I, I have the stamp cleaner and the pad, and I love it. Yeah, if you don't have it, though, it's good to know, too, um, that you don't have to have one more thing that you have to purchase. It is nice to just you know, use what you have on hand. I'm a huge proponent of that. Listen, all of a sudden you can't see very well. Okay, so we're still trying to decide. Um, wrap the bead garland around the board under Christmas. That's a cute idea. Who made that suggestion? I gotta get better at looking at the names. Um, Pam Suarez. Do you guys like that? Oh, geez. That's kind of cute. Um... The beads give it sparkle, bow gives it color, right? So 
I kind of like the greenery. That's kind of farmhousey, right? The bow can go on like on either way, if the greenery or with the bead. No, I, I think the green. I think the bead. I don't. I think I like the greenery better than the bead, and I think I like something like that by itself is a little too plain. So I think this is what I'm liking because it looks like he has a wreath around his neck, like he's all Christmased out, right? Sheep wear bells, do they? Go from bead to bead around. Wrap the bead girl around the board of the Christmas. Um, okay, uh, keep the suggestions coming, girls, because I love to see. <clears throat> try this out right in front of you. I'm liking what this looks like. Um, I'm going to hold it up so you can see it better. <clears throat> That's just a little snippet of that garland. And then I could glue that right on top of there. It makes that, to me, looks Christmassy. So let's do that. And then we can see about incorporating the beaded garland. Let's see. Let's get this on first. <clears throat> Since it is ink, use alcohol and a brush, Janet says. Look at, I think you have many options for how to clean your stamps. I want to put a bead of glue. Oh, why aren't you, what, but baby doll, what's your problem? Okay, I wanna put a bead of glue along where the wire is so that I can push that down. I don't want it oozing out from the leaves. Come on. And I don't have a, de I mean, I do. It's just not the one I'm using right now, a detail. Um, Glue gun with a detail tip. Oh, he's upside down. I almost put it on his bum. He almost had a wreath on his bum. <laughs> what is it about the bum tonight? I don't like using my fingers because I am so afraid of getting burned. So I'm going to use um, my palette knife to push this down. Ow, see, I don't like getting burned. And um, I'm not liking this. There's, it's just a tish too long right here. There's a wire sticking out from his neck. A wire. Did you hear me? That was my Boston accent coming out. There's a wire coming out of his neck, and I don't like it, girls. There. Now, that looks more natural to me. He, like, he had this wire, like, sticking out. That was a little bizarre. All right, we're going to fluff the greenery. Fluff, fluff. This one went backwards. You're going the wrong way, dude. I'm going to have to clip that one off because it's, like, in the sheep's face and I don't like it there and then the bow on top of that do you guys you like this is you get <laughs> this is grace raw and pure you get all the gracisms need a pop of red oh Carrie Carrie so the black and white looks very farmhousey to me and I like it but let's listen to Carrie Carrie, I do have these, and I've been started, the last um, mystery grab bag that I sent out, I sent some of these, like a little variety pack of these in there. Um, I just got these in the mail. You guys, black and white or red? Do you think Carrie's right? Should we do black and white or should we do red? Vote away. I feel like this is like America's Got Talent or something. Red or black? Red or black and white? You tell me. Um, so super cute. Candy says red. How about wrapping the bee girl in around the tack? Oh, Pam, we'll check that out in a minute. Red bell on the greenery. I don't have a red bell, my friend. Listen, I have a bag of bells somewhere in this house and I don't know where they are, but I went to Dollar Tree the other day and they had these. So I got these, but they're not red. I could use silver, but how the heck am I going to connect it? Red. Look at all the red. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So, uh, Pam says black and white though. Judy and Lisa and Kathy and Amy and Jennifer and Joy all and Carolyn and Candy all think red. Keep the votes coming. Connie says black. Christina says red. There was somebody else who said black. Pam said black. That's right. Janet says red. Diane says black. Listen, oh, if okay, if I were all by myself, if I were all by myself, if I were all by myself, I'm trying to decide. I'm stalling. You guys, I think I would go black and white, honestly. But look at all the reds. <laughs> Amazon, Dawn. Go to Amazon. <laughs> black, red, adorable. <laughs> I love it. Um, twined. Oh, my gosh. I see a lot of votes for red. And Pat says, put some berries on it. Listen, how would I tie this on here? She's saying twine, but literally, um, I would need a really skinny twine. 
we've got all the options coming out, which is totally cool because I love this. Let me grab the Dollar Tree twine because that is really skinny twine. The other twine that I usually use is like twice as thick as this, but this one's really skinny. Oh, and you guys get to see my hands are so icky. Like I don't have, they get really awful in the winter. It doesn't matter how much water I drink, I get really awful dry skin. So that's one thing. And then I've got paint all over my hands. I can't even get it through, girls. I've got paint all over my hands and my nails are all like ripped to shreds. So I apologize that again, if you're looking for the perfect, everything's in my world is perfect girl, that's not me. You get real life here, <laughs> Grace Bruno Kurtz. <laughs> I can't do it. I won't accept it. Hold on. I'm gonna get, so sometimes, like, so this gets all unthreaded and then you can't thread it even if you wanted to because it gets all undone. So I'm gonna get like a fresh piece of jute here. It's, it's, this is even too wide. Darn bells. Jennifer says, you do you. <laughs> Christina thinks it needs a pop of color. I like the neutral, but listen, girls, this is not working. Not working. This is usually my, my go-to. I don't want to melt my uh, plastic here, but this is usually my go-to. I usually use Mod Podge on the tip, but seeing how I don't have any out, I'm a little nervous about melting my plastic here. I'm going to put just a bit of that on there. This is what I usually do. And then wet this a little bit with glue. And then once it's a little bit cool, but before it's totally cool, I twist it to get it to like really harden and stay in place. It works great with Mod Podge. With the hot glue, you just got to be careful you don't use so much that it makes the cord bigger. Because if I'm already struggling to get it through, it just won't... You dumb bells. <laughs> I just yelled at the bells. You dummies. Girls, as much as I want to, it's not going to work. I'm going to have to figure that out another day. I could thread it with like thread, needle and thread, but yes, an embroidery needle. I'm not going to do that right now because all my crafting, all my sewing stuff is like hidden away. Tape it. The red is striking and looks very vintage, Donna says. Okay, we'll go with red. I, I, I love, I, uh, most of the time when I ask you guys your opinion, I, I do go with your stuff. Um, do I have wire? I have, let's see. What do I have? I don't think so. I have like, do you mean like floral wire? Hmm. Hmm. I wonder if this would work better. Dump bells. You're giving me a hard time. The gold bells are bigger, but they're too big. Poor sheep would get like bogged down. Oh, oh wait, girls, we got it. We got it. Now listen, that's not gonna work because it's green. Let me grab. <laughs> You're gonna grab. Guys, I am a little kooky tonight. I'm feeling a little kooky. Okay, I have this. Wait a minute. I have this. I got me some red. It's not the same red, though. I don't usually get this picky. Can I tell you that, girls? I just don't usually, but I'm really enjoying this project. Black. We're going to go with the black and red bow. We'll go with a little bell. One little bell around its one little neck with a black bow. Ah. Ah. Woohoo! Skinny Satin Ribbon to the rescue. Yay! Okay. Now, black bow go away. We'll use you some other time. This is going to go here, and then this. Ooh, ooh, ooh. How am I going to do it? I do, I kind of would like these little ribbon tendrils to kind of be hanging out. So I think, oops. I don't think I want to, like try to make it look like I'm wrapping it around. I just want to hang it, but I would like the little ribbon. I'm going to hot glue it on with the ribbon behind the bow. So I'm going to, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut this. I'm going to cut it long because I don't know how long I want this yet. And I don't mind sacrificing a bit of ribbon for it. Okay. Ribbon be gone. So I cut like a length about four inches long for the bell. 
if I fold this straight in half, I should be able to put a nice hot glue dab right there and then stick the bow in here. And then like I could pull these off to the side so that they're like little pieces of ribbon hanging out with the wreath and the bow, if you understand what I'm saying. I could even do that beforehand. Make these come down, right? What do you think? And I can always cut them down if they're too long. Yahoo, great idea. <laughs> Purchase this, you are a hoot. Hey, come hang out with me. I, <laughs> I have so much fun and I am like totally real. Like it, this is no script. There's no script. This is the real, this is the real deal. You get the real deal here with me, girls. Big, hot glue dab there and I'm gonna stick the ribbon through it. And I'm gonna put the bell a little bit low so that I can then put the bow on top. I usually don't like big gobs of glue. I don't, I think they're ugly. Um, so what I usually do while my glue is still hot, I had a bead of glue, you could probably hardly see this, a little bead of glue come oozing out and I usually just go in there and reach in and get it before it's cool is the best time to do that because it's malleable and it'll move. And you can just reach in there and grab it and then it comes right off my palette knife. Okay, now, these things can't be going in his face, so if I can't rearrange where these go, I'm gonna I'm gonna pull them now underneath the bow and try to get them to become like underneath the bow, like here, so that they're like two more little ribbons hanging down, and it worked great. Um, I don't know, they're, they're they're but because they're under the bow, they're not free. They're like tacked down, which I don't like. I'm gonna widen them a little bit. That's what I'm going to do right there. Okay, I'm going to show you. Oh, he has a bell around his neck. Oh, you guys. The red is really cute. What do you think? We did it. Oh my gosh, the bell is darling. For all of you who suggested, I would have never done the bell because, I don't know, because I'm lazy. And that was seemed like a lot of work. But it's totally worth it. It's totally worth it, you guys. I see a glass of wine in a late night in my future because I will stay, I would love to stay up for like a couple more hours and just play. This was a scrap piece of board. It's just a scrap board, a, a board, a piece of, I don't even know, just a piece of wood. I painted it with, I'm gonna walk you through what I used so that you all know, because I know some of you said, I wanna do this. Celery Green from Waverly, two coats on the board. Then I used teeny tiny little, let me see if I can find it, because now I threw everything aside. I'm not only the lazy crafter, I'm the lazy messy crafter. Do you guys ever hear that book? Um, I can't even, it's a kid's book and it's hilarious. Um, I can't remember it. Anyway, okay, then I used this little tiny stamp and I went around the edges just to add some distress. I was going to use a distress pad, but I just ended up using the brick because I found it. I thought it was cute. Made sure to pick an ink or you could use a paint, but I used an ink pad, but I made sure to use a color that wasn't going to compete with my black letters because I knew I wanted to do the letters in black to match the sheep but I wanted something on the background of my board. I do not, I'm just not a fan of plain backgrounds. I want something subtly in the back. So I just used this tiny little Prima stamp on the back. Then, oh, really we did this first. We stamped the sheep with jet black ink onto this little piece of, it's scrap fabric, you guys. I don't even know, um, I have like, when I get extra pieces of scrap fabric that are really neutral. Um, they make great little backdrops that add texture to your boards. So when you're making signs that are on wood boards and you wanna add some texture to soften it a little bit, fabric's a great way to go. So um, I just found, it's like muslin fabric. I have no idea what I used it for, probably to make a banner at one time, but I had extra scraps of that. So we did the sheep on there. And then I tacked them in very painfully because I'm not good at that. I hammered those little tacks in. <laughs> that was that was a treat. You probably could just use brads and glue them on. Um, 
I don't know, I had those tacks, so I hammered them in. You can always go back and watch the replay. That was painful and probably quite amusing to those of you that could handle the noise. Then we played with a little bit of, this is just like garland, you guys, that you can buy. It unravels so that you can, like, I don't know, decorate stuff with it. It was in the wedding section at Hobby Lobby, and I snip it off in small sections just for this reason, to embellish things. So it looks like a little wreath on my project, but it's just a little piece of that garland. And then we put the bow and the bell with a little bit of satin black ribbon. Oh my gosh, I love that the jingle bell jingles. It's so cute. Whoop, whoop, Jennifer sent me some stars. Thank you for the stars, you guys. Donna, I'm glad you think so. It's a great project, thank you. So, so much fun. Hey, listen, girls, I love sharing projects with you. I love inspiring each other. Like that is like so important to me because I think, well, even before COVID, um, I don't do a whole lot outside of my house. <laughs> I don't go anywhere. I don't do anything. I'm home. I live in rural North Dakota. Um, we live in a town, but I just don't do anything. I stay home and, and I craft a lot and I love to share that with you guys. So, I'm glad to have you here. I'm happy that you came to hang out with me. I do this every Tuesday night at 9 p.m. Central. I try to go live more often, but honestly, it just doesn't, I mean, there's just so much to do. It, it, I, I just can't commit to more than that right now. Um, but you may catch me occasionally as well. So change your settings if you wanna like not miss a wonky session. I do try to go live during the day sometimes too, because I know it's a totally different audience. Um, but I'm, I appreciate you being here. Thank you for following my page. That is one way that you can support my business. Giving me stars, it's like a little tip. Every, every star is worth a penny and you can buy stars from um, Facebook and then dole them out to people that you watch if you appreciate and get value from what they share with you. So I do so appreciate that. Rosemary, thanks for being here. She said, first time catching you. You're always welcome at the Comfy Nest. You guys are all welcome to join my free craft community. It's called the Comfy Nests Crafty Chicks Club. That's it. It's attached to this, this page. So feel free to jump in there. I love to see your projects. If any of you decide to do this, I love seeing your projects. So for sure, make sure that you join there and share, share, share. Um, Barbara says, Grace, you're so kind, amazing, and creative. Greetings from South Dakota. Hey, Dakota in the house. I'm up here in North Dakota. So thanks for being here, Barbara, as my neighbor. I love that. I love that. I love seeing all you girls from all over the place. And guys, if you're out there. I'm glad you had fun, Pam. Come on back next time. It's always Tuesday night at 9 p.m. And then I do go live. I do commit to Essential Stencil. I'm a brand ambassador for them. So I go live every Thursday for them, either at 11 a.m. or 8 p.m. I switch every other week on their page, Essential Stencil, because I'm one of their brand ambassadors. All right, you guys, have a beautiful, blessed night. I'm going to go get some wine. I don't know. I may clean up or I may just keep playing. I don't know. I'm thinking... Um, gift tags with these little animals would be cute. So you guys have fun creating and crafting. Stay safe, stay healthy. Blessings. Good night.